I spoke with Kyrie's mother and uh, expressed my condolences and told her that I was going to be making the case to the Congress that you pass the George Floyd Act. We should get this under control. I can only do so much in an executive order at a federal level. And, uh, and the prayer, I was really pleased that she called for no peaceful protest, no, no violence, no movement at all. And so I, uh, you know, I spoke with her about, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. And uh, Are you going I I, I, I'm obviously very concerned about it, but I think she has made a very strong plea. She's obviously in enormous pain. She talked about, as you heard her when she spoke publicly, but she also talked about how, uh, how uh, she didn't know what she was going to do. And I told her that, that, it, that, that I, I, I told her I had some idea of what that loss was like and that although it's impossible to believe now, the time will come when his memory brings a smile before a tear. And uh, she says she already is thinking about what, what he would want her to do, which is, which is very positive. So what's at stake is, uh, first of all, innocent people's lives, number one. Number two, uh, it has a lot to say and do with the image of America. It has a lot to do with whether or not we are the country we say we are, that we're a country of law and order and means by which we can peacefully protest and let the courts make their judgment.